Hey everyone, in this video I'll be talking about the pros and cons of attending UC Berkeley. I'm currently a junior and I'm studying business administration at the Haas School of Business. Whether you are considering the school or if you're just curious to learn more, I hope you find this video helpful. Alright, so let's first start off with the pros. One of the biggest reasons why I wanted to attend UC Berkeley is due to the strong nature of their business program. And as someone who wanted to study business going to college, I knew that Berkeley is one of the top choices in the nation for business. It's ranked number three behind UPenn and MIT for undergraduate business programs. Within the business major, there is a really wide variety of classes, as well as electives that prepare you well for business careers. Other programs in Berkeley are also extremely strong. So for example, it is number two in engineering, number one in computer science, number one in English, number four in political science, and the list goes on. So Berkeley is a really good school no matter which field you choose to go into. And even if you don't know what to study, you can always figure out what to do when you get to Cal and chances are you're in a very good position academically. The school is well known worldwide and no matter what career you wanna go into, you're bound to get notice and to do really well in your future. The second pro is the super knowledgeable and accomplished professors at Berkeley that come with an academically rigorous school. They have a ton of experience in their respective fields and most professors do research alongside with teaching as Berkeley is one of the best research schools in the world. So to get a lot of these research opportunities with professors, sometimes students use URAP, which is a research program. So a lot of the professors at Berkeley are super accomplished. For example, one of my econ professors was the former economic counsel at the Obama administration. There's also Jane Yellen, who is the current US Secretary at the Treasury. Berkeley has a huge track record of Nobel laureates. There are over 110 Nobel Prizes distributed to both Berkeley alumni as well as its professors in its 150 year history. One of the most recent Nobel Prize announcements was for a bio professor who founded CRISPR, which is a biotechnology that I don't really know too much about personally, but it was super cool to see on the news. Fun fact, actually, on the Berkeley campus, there are designated parking spots just for people with Nobel Prizes. There's also some really cool discoveries on campus from the professors and faculty. On the scientific table of elements, the elements Berkeleyum and Californium were discovered on the UC Berkeley campus. Another aspect of going to UC Berkeley that I really enjoy is its proximity to the Bay Area and San Francisco. Oftentimes when we get tired of going to school at Berkeley, you can take the BART to nearby cities like San Francisco or the South Bay where you can explore other parts of the Bay Area. It's super nice to be able to leave the city and go to other super fun places. There is a really convenient subway system called the BART which takes you all around the Bay. So from Berkeley to San Francisco, Fremont, North Bay, you name it. So that's really a convenient way to get around the Bay Area. Additionally, the location is really good for career opportunities since UC Berkeley is one of the top Bay Area schools near Silicon Valley. So a lot of people come to Berkeley for tech. So the location really makes it useful for tech jobs as well as for founding startups and getting venture capital funding. The location is also really good for networking with alumni to help you with your career. Something that I really admire about the school is how driven the students are. So when you go to Berkeley campus, there are students doing so many things. Besides from taking classes, you can also see students joining a lot of the clubs and extracurriculars doing internships, research positions, maybe even starting their own startup, and so many more activities on campus and outside of campus. So being surrounded with people like this really motivates you and pushes you to do more and accomplish more things while you are at Berkeley. This sort of creates a hustle culture, which could be a good or a bad thing depending on the type of person you are, but overall I think it really pushes you out of your comfort zone and helps you do more things to make the best of your time out of Berkeley. At Berkeley, there are so many extracurriculars to choose from to build your interests and to form a community of like-minded people. There are over 3,000 clubs at UC Berkeley, so you are bound to find something that fits your interests. There are so many clubs available, and some of them include business clubs, engineering clubs, cultural clubs, hobby interest clubs, and the list goes on. Like, whatever you think you are interested in, you will probably find. 
And actually, if you can't find something that fits your interests in a specific club, you can always submit a club proposal to create your own. There's also this thing every semester called flyering, which we go to an area called Sprout Plaza and club members will sometimes start setting up their tables at four or five in the morning to prepare for advertising and handing out physical flyers to the students to come to campus on their way to class. So it is a really bustling and busy scene during the school year that's really interesting to see. Clubs are a really great way to make new friends and form a community at Berkeley since the school is so big. Lastly, one of my most favorite parts of going to UC Berkeley is probably the number of shops and restaurants right outside the Berkeley campus. When you step outside campus, there are so many restaurants lined up on the streets, especially on Telegraph Avenue, which is one of the main roads outside of Sprout Plaza. There are so many options like Thai food, Korean, Japanese, Chinese, French, Italian, you name it, Berkeley has it. Actually, a fun fact. Recently, New York Times showed an article saying how a bagel place in Berkeley tasted better than New York bagels. So a lot of these restaurants aren't really chain restaurants. They're more like local shops or mom and pop restaurants. So the food is super authentic and really good. But if you ever come to Berkeley, I highly recommend trying out some of the local restaurants around campus. The only chain stores are Chipotle, Subway, and maybe a few boba shops I can think of, but there's not much chain restaurants around. There's also tons of boba stores opening every single year, and the students at Berkeley are obsessed with boba, so if you like boba, you'll really like the food scene here at Berkeley. Now I will shift to some of the cons I've sort of found while attending UC Berkeley. Just to note, I know there are problems with every school, so please take what I say with a grain of salt and know these are just my opinions. So one of the first cons is how big the size of Berkeley is. There are 30,000 undergraduates and 10,000 graduate students, putting the total student population to 40,000. This means there are huge class sizes, especially for first and second year students who usually take lower division classes. For example, one of the data science classes I took as a freshman had over 1,500 students in one class. However, I found that class sizes usually decrease as you get in upper division classes, so the class size isn't usually a huge problem by the time you are a junior or so. Sometimes during course registration, it's sort of frustrating because of the amount of people trying to get into the same class as you, so oftentimes I've been finding myself making multiple class schedules to make sure that I at least would be able to take some form of a schedule of classes if for some reason I can't get into a specific class I wanted to take. Sometimes with a big school, you don't really have much attention from professors and a lot of times you have to sort of seek help or resources from yourself and not wait for someone to come to you. The lectures are already super impersonal enough and sometimes when you go to a professor's office hours, it's really hard to get close to a professor because there's like 30 students and the professor is there giving like a mini lecture and you can maybe ask like a few questions, but sometimes it's really hard to make a genuine connection with a professor. And I think that's one of the bigger downsides of going to a large public university like Berkeley. I feel like having to look for resources is really common at a public university, but I also feel like doing this makes you more proactive and teaches you a lot about finding things yourself and not waiting for others to come to you. However, if you're not really the type of person who likes that kind of competitive or like super resourceful environment, Berkeley might be a little bit hard to adjust to, but I think at the end of the day, it is a really good learning experience to have for most of the students who go there. You definitely learn way more by being independent and resourceful. Another con of UC Berkeley is sometimes the competitive nature between the students, majors, and classes. When I was trying to join clubs, I didn't realize how hard it is to join certain clubs such as the ones within the business section. For example, when I got to campus, I didn't know that you had to apply to clubs with these huge written applications, go through two or three rounds of interviews, and then finally get rejected from most of the clubs I ended up applying to, which was sad times. Yeah, like the rounds of interviews and applications almost seem like I was applying to a company or a job, which at Berkeley, it is super competitive because of the sheer number of students 
wanting to join a club, but there's just not enough space for them. But there's also other types of organizations or clubs that don't require such a competitive process. Like a lot of the volunteer or cultural clubs are much more chill and laid back. In addition to competitiveness in clubs, there's also a lot of competition when it comes to declaring a major. For business, you have to apply in your sophomore year to the Haas school, which is like applying to college again. The acceptance rate for the business school is only 30% within UC Berkeley. You're already competing against people of really high caliber. The competition between the students at Cal sometimes creates a sort of competitive or stressful environment, but I also think most people are pretty collaborative and willing to help each other out. So another con that I found about Berkeley is its dining hall food. And it's not like UCLA's food, which is ranked number one. Berkeley's dining hall food is actually pretty mediocre. A lot of the times, it's a lot of frozen food, like burgers or pizza. They have other like vegetables and things like that, but it's usually not the most appetizing option that you can get when it comes to food. There were several incidents where people have found bugs or worms or their salads, so if that doesn't say anything, I don't know what does. Freshmen are generally required to get a meal plan if you live in the dorms, so when you add those costs up, it can get really expensive. A lot of people actually end up buying food from outside because sometimes it just tastes better and it's healthier. The fourth con of Berkeley is the housing. Since Berkeley is in the Bay Area, housing can get really expensive. Also. So the city of Berkeley is actually pretty small and crammed, so all the housing is sort of crammed together. So students are not guaranteed on-campus housing after the first year, which I've heard is really different other UCs where students at other UCs are pretty much guaranteed four years of housing, but that's not the case for Berkeley, which kind of sucks. Most students end up finding off-campus apartments after their freshman year, which is what I did. I moved to an apartment off campus near my old dorm and with off campus apartments, landlords tend to charge really high prices because they know that the housing is super in demand and the students will pretty much take what they get. They can charge really high rates for really run down apartments. For example, when I was a sophomore, the rent for a one bedroom apartment was about $2,000 and I was able to split that with another friend in which we lived in a double, so we we're both paying $1,000 each. However, a lot of people are able to find doubles for around $700 to $800 a month if you look hard enough, so there's definitely less expensive housing if you're willing to put the effort into searching for it. Something I didn't realize before coming to Berkeley was the amount of crime and general sketchiness of the area. There is definitely a homeless problem here, and you can see it when you come to campus, especially on the outskirts of the campus area. After the pandemic started, I noticed there was an uptick in crimes, and we were getting emails probably several times a week notifying us of various crimes happening around the city, which is sometimes a little bit scary. I would advise anyone coming here to invest in pepper spray and to keep that on you when you're going out, and make sure to not walk around at night by yourself or to go into like really sketchy places without walking with a friend or something. There are also services on campus called Bear Walk in which you can call a line at Berkeley and someone will come to your location and walk you home if that's something that you need. Some people end up studying at libraries so really late at night and they use Bear Walk to get them home safely, which I think is a really awesome service that Berkeley has. All right, so that's it for my pros and cons of UC Berkeley. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. If you have anything to add or if you have any questions to ask me, feel free to leave them in the comments below or message me on Instagram. If you are also interested in seeing how a day in the life of a Berkeley student is like, check out my other video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys soon.